welcome to Ashu's DIY. Today we are going to design a earring with Sam Speedbox subscription for the month of August 2023. We received a uh, two terracast components in the box. Uh, one, is a, one is a hammer stone stitch around hoop charm which is two pieces of these and I have used one for this brick stitch as you guys can see I really like the way this turned out to be it's simple. Uh, there are more beads in the box but I, I wanted to first use it, that for the uh, the crystals, the 3mm um, truck beads to put it underneath. But then I thought, okay, why not do a simple earrings just with seed beads. Even if you don't have this box, if you have seed beads in your stash and they are not enough to make a big project, this consists of three, four different um, uh, Leveno seed beads, a mix that we got in the box. So there is a bracelet that Daniel Wicks is going to design on August 25th, I believe. Um, for that particular products, I need to keep it away. Um, so I just wanted to check out what she's come up with. And uh, maybe I will save that for that bracelet. So this Terracast button, the Apple Blossom button. Uh, seed beads also, I have used this much, but that's okay, I guess. I have some in my stash which I can replace it and this leather um, uh, 1.5 millimeter leather this steel up beads and four of these one two three and four we need for that bracelet so I didn't use any of those but I wanted to just uh, do this as simply as it can be but there is uh, four different beads in this mix the cream um, the creamy white the cream color beads the copper metallic copper the iridescent transparent color here the third line you can see and then the finally the uh, trans transparent or translucent as you guys can see then the brown shiny ones so so four different leveno seed beads are here in this mix so i separated it and i used the four ones so if you want to change the order you can obviously change the order and use it in a different format but i um i started using it and i really liked it so for this and i need to add the hoop here but for stitching the brick stitch around the ring this hammered hoop ring really love um this ring you can also use this for, you know, a necklace that you can loop it around here. But I wanted to use this for earrings since we have two of them. It's a six pound fire line that I used for this in a black color. Um, I know even there is cream, the rest of the colors are dark. So I wanted to kind of mix this and the mix from this Lavano seed beads, the hoop. And I used 12 size 12 beading needle. And an arm span, uh, arm span of wire thread will get you one earrings. I have a wingspan of thread. Wingspan means you extend your hands both this side. Stretch your hands from the tip of this to this tip is a wingspan. But if you hold it in in uh, your shoulder and then stretch it against just one hand, then it's an arm span. So here we go. I have threaded in my needle. And then all you need to do is flatten the thread a little bit with your pliers, needle nose or twist nose pliers and thread the needle to the thread rather than the thread to the needle. That will help. So take this ring and then just tie an overhand knot with the tail thread. It's okay. Just move it right next to the hoop and then go ahead and do a surgeon's knot surgeon's knot is right over left when you go through the loop once it's a regular knot when you go through the loop twice it's a surgeon's knot this is what i mean just once it's a regular knot then do the tail twice inside then it's a surgeon's knot see that so and then tighten that up make sure you do the same as your other pair so when you start doing one 
just decide where you want the thread to be so I want the thread to be about say a little yeah almost at this place so that's okay I'm going to do one more again one more search and snot you can leave the short tail for now and then actually you can thread burn it with the thread zapper later I'm just going to use the cream seed beads I'm using two seed beads okay drop it down to the finding go underneath the hoop from down to the up okay and then the second bead right the thread is coming exiting out in this in this direction outwards from me so I'm just going inwards okay it will all make sense when I pull see how this sits on top of the bead so that's what we want now if you see the first bead is just popping out so I just go yeah, go down through the first bead okay and then come up through the second bead that kind of puts it a little bit nicer over there right I know even though it is it is a little bit because there's a not right there but um, I think that should be fine it's kind of moving so just watch out for that pick out now from now on you will add only one bead at a time take one bead put the needle underneath the hoop see how I'm holding the bead um, next to the hoop so that it doesn't go along with my needle and then I pull the thread okay now it's not attached to the hoop so now I go through the bead from the opposite direction so that when I pull now you can see how it sits on top of the finding that we have here right I will show you guys a couple more times so it will be easier for you pick up one bead go down from underneath the hoop come down and see how I'm holding it so that the bead doesn't come only the needle comes okay sorry only the needle comes and then I hold it like this okay and now I go through the bead from the opposite direction just like that and pull it see how it nicely sits on top this is what we want so I'll continue this only hold it right there and then pull the needle now go up through the bead and it creates like a knot kind of so it wraps around the hoop again so go around the hoop once and once I'm done with that I'll come back here we go I did the first row the first row comprises of 24 but if you can do 25 um, that would be good I feel the, the thing is um, there was a small adjustment when I did the wings part of this which is the fourth row so I'm going to do the same this only so I'm just following that but if you do 25 I think that count will be good um, it all depends upon the size of the beads some are even though they are branded beads some are smaller sm some are a little bit fat uh, so I just finished doing the first row so what I do is I flip my project okay 
now I start doing from this side the second row also in brick stitch the first row we take two beads at a time right so now there is no hoops that we can come around so this time around we are going to concentrate on the thread bridges between each bead you can see because it's a black thread you can see clearly there is a thread bridge between the first and the second and every other bead on the line so I since I picked up two beads I leave the first thread bridge and I go under the second thread bridge see how I do this like when we do half inch knots so we we go ahead and uh, uh, pick the thread bridge right the exact same way you pick the thread bridge and see how your bead set now in order to make it straight so I just go through the second bead that we added from the opposite direction just like that now it is this second bead is sitting properly but the first bead is not so what I do is I just go to the first bead come around and then go up through the second bead and then that's it see now it's sitting properly now pick up one bead from now on we are going to pick up one bead catch a thread bridge underneath and then go ahead and pull that bead and then go through the bead from the opposite direction to make it sit right see how it sits nicely so this is this exact way we are going to do the entire thing entire row so but um, as you guys can see this row starts a little bit outside right um, I guess you guys understand what I mean but that means it's not starting from the start see this is a little bit towards the outside so you might think there will be lesser number of beads right um, so the thing is you are going outside and you are adding one more row so the width of the row is slightly different from this but the thread bridge between each bit that that's the only thing that you can catch hold of to do this brick stitch in this row second row so there will be some uh, some way you will be adding two beads in one under one thread bridge just to fill up the gaps I will tell you guys exactly what I mean see this one this bead is supposed to sit right in between those two beads if it sits right in between which is like that right there is a gap between the third and the fourth so when I pull this just goes and sits right next to that bead but still there's a lot of gap if I pick the here and when I go here still the bead is sitting towards the left of my side rather than towards the right as you guys can see here so in order to fill the gap I will be adding two beads under one thread bridge which I am going to add it right now see I already added through thread to uh, one bead in that thread bridge and I push that bead almost close to the other one in the line and I take the another bead and I catch the same thread bridge underneath and go around and do the same okay so now I take the bead and go under the thread bridge the next thread bridge and I continue doing that there will be a slight slight blemish because we added two of these things but you can see this bead is sitting a little bit off rather than um, very straight as you guys can see but it's a minor um, thing right at the end of the day if you look around uh, this you will not see I have added three beads extra in the second row but you won't see anything right so at the end of the day that's what matters you need to fill the gap if you want to do or uh, two beads under the same thread bridge go ahead and do it it, uh, it I cannot say for sure that you will be adding one extra bead or two extra bead it just depends upon how wide the gap between the beads are and then you decide based on that it just it will come automatically it's not uh, 
it's not um, difficult you will see the gap and then you will realize oh my god why there is a gap so I can fill the gap nicely If you guys can see, I pulled the thread out and there is a lot of gap between that. So now I am ready to add one more seed bead under the same thread bridge to kind of um, fill the gap in. See how it sits. Actually, this bead is a little bit bigger. It's a very monotonous um, thing, but at the same time, it's a really um, very nice to look at this orderly beads that you have on your uh, hoop. And it's, um, I really love brick stitch a lot. The satisfaction that you get after you're done is amazing. A little bit more than a wingspan would uh, be necessary to do both the uh, earrings that means a pair so just keep that in mind see I'm just a little bit running short of thread but I will have to add it but it's okay but I would advise you guys to take a little bit more than a wingspan or an arm span and a little bit more for one uh, earring will do see how beautiful it is So let's count how many beads I have in the second row in this. So what you do is, let me see what I have here. So two, four, six, eight, ten. See this? Four, eight, ten. Okay. And then this is where I did the adjustment. That's why it's coming like this. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. I have 25 beats in this. I have 24 in that. I have 25 beats in this. Let me see. Count how much it is. I have 4, 6, 8, 
ten, twelve, fourteen, <coughs> sixteen, eighteen, twenty, Twenty five in this. All right, I have twenty five, and then I'm going to see how much this one. Okay, now let me start the next row which is going to be this beats right here so take two beats skip one thread bridge go under the next thread bridge come back go up through the second bead and in the opposite direction go down through the first bead and then go up again through the second bead now we are starting the third row right so now pick up one bead, go under the thread bridge and continue doing the same. Come back around here. So for example, if your thread is short, how do we finish thread off and then add thread to a brick stitch earring is what we are going to see. So I have this much thread, I will work that little bit of thread and then come back. So I am at the... fourth row so I finished the third row I flip my work the fourth row is going to be different it's not going to be for a brick stitch and I'm going to use the darker color brown uh, seed beads from the mix I pick up three seed beads okay okay and then my thread is exiting out of one bead I go down through the next bead in the line so here we go that forms like a pico kind of an edge so you come back up through the next bead in the line and then pick up again three seed beads and go down through the next. So this is how we are going to create the pico effect and that's what is going to be our final row. Pick up three go back down the next bead and go up so this should be an even number for you to get uh, to that so let's see two four four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty so that's a good number so I'm just going to finish this line I'm and done with the third row as you guys can see and then I am going to stitch through a couple of beads and tie knots and then um, take this needle off the thread so I'm just going to go down all the way come up all the way change direction also tie a knot here and 
my old thread is here so I can tie a knot with that Take your threads up, go ahead and sap this off. There we go. And then uh, the starting thread too. and melt it nicely so that's about it we are done all you need to add is a uh, ear wire and this one is done see because we went through one more time I can see the thread here but I'm not worried about that French ear wires here all you need to do is open up the loop like go back and forth motion and then add this loop to our finding it's done our pretty earrings are done i hope you guys like this tutorial if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos a couple of times a week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. And bye. So this is how it is. If you have enough thread, don't tie the initial thread with the last thread as I did here. Because you can see the thread a little bit here than this earrings. That's because of that. So you tie, go around and tie some half inch knots and change the direction of the thread and you should be good to go. I hope this is how the earrings look. Very pretty. I really like them. And this we will wear every day basis, I guess. So you, I want this to be the star of the show. That's why I chose a ear wire which is very simple and not take away the brick stitch uh, beauty so um please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me and do comment please i really love to hear you hear uh, from you guys what do you think about this